Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about premium dining on NCL and whether it is worth it for you to do so. So uh, jumping right in, mm -hmm. the first thing is uh, if it's worth it and to give this away, yes, we think it is <laughs> worth it if you're doing this type of cruise. Mm -hmm. The restaurants are pretty amazing. They are. Um, so you have to answer the question, do you want to buy the dining package or do you want to just pay for your meals individually? Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Um, and it kind of depends on where you're going to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Price-wise, Moderno is about $25 per person each time you go. Mm -hmm. uh, and Teppanyaki is $30 right. per person each mm -hmm. time you go. Um, so the other restaurants, Cagney's, La Bistro, and La Cucina, are all a la carte. Okay. So mm -hmm. whatever you order, you're just going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're just going to go in there and get like a soup and a dessert, uh, <laughs> then maybe you don't need the dining package because it's not going to be that yeah. much. But if you're going to go do the full meal, which mm -hmm. we re totally recommend, mm -hmm. you're going to want to get the dining package. Mm -hmm. Because you uh, do want the full experience. You do. And it is an amazing uh, place, mm -hmm. those restaurants. Uh, to give you an idea, our, they, they print out a bill for you if you have the dining package and they show it to you at the end. Then they just zero it out to, so you don't have to pay anything. But our <laughs> bill at Cagney's was easily over $100 um, for when we used our dining package. So we right. didn't pay the $100, but that was for using one of our free meals. Right. So to get an idea, if you were going to go eat the a la carte and eat whatever you wanted, you'd be paying over $100 right. mm -hmm. there or at La Bistro, you'd also mm -hmm. be paying that much because... Yeah. Um, the, the food a la carte is kind of pricey. So the dining it package is. does make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, and it is totally worth it. Yeah, and it's actually even more expensive at Le Bistro. Yeah. So uh, first of all, first one we're going to get into is Cagney's. Uh, we love Cagney's. It's mm -hmm. one of our favorite restaurants on NCL. Actually, it's one of our favorite restaurants anywhere. Probably anywhere, yeah. Not even on a, <laughs> I off agree. a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. It's a steakhouse. Yep. Uh, also has seafood. You're going to mm -hmm. get uh, huge fillets. Porterhouse, ribeye, lobster, mm -hmm. uh, crab cakes, all kinds of sides, salads, seven layer cake for dessert. Lobster bisque, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, they've got bacon they bring you. It's really, <laughs> really amazing. Um, a couple of things are an upcharge, mm -hmm. even with the dining package. Mm -hmm. So that would be... Mostly the, the seafood. The lobster items. and the crab cakes mm -hmm. for the most part yes. are a few dollar upcharge if you have the dining package. But still, <clears throat> really not that bad. Yeah. Um, so we highly recommend Cagney's. Secondly, uh, we're going to talk about Le Bistro, which is our second highest recommendation. Mm -hmm. Because you can get some of the things from Cagney's at mm -hmm. Le Bistro, which yep. would be the the steak. Mm -hmm. um, you, I don't know that you can get some of the, the seafood there. Right. But they have a whole other They have their French own selection, seafood. Mm -hmm. And they have amazing desserts. Oh, uh, there. I mean, it's French restaurants. Bread, so. <laughs> soups. The service yeah. is excellent. The uh, the ambiance is mm -hmm. excellent. So you really can't go wrong. Yeah. Also at Le Bistro, and the same thing applies. It's gonna be a pretty high bill mm -hmm. if you just go there and start ordering stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so use the dining package. It adds up fast. <laughs> use the dining package to go there. Um, next one's gonna be Moderno. What did you think of Moderno? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So Moderno was the Brazilian steakhouse, the Churrasqueria, and um, it's it's got the guys who come around with the various meat selections. They slice them and you take them right there. They have a bar. Um, the bar doesn't have the the, the food bar doesn't really have a, as great a selection as what you would get, you know, if you went to your local Brazilian steakhouse in in the city. Uh, but you know, it was it was okay. Mm -hmm. It was okay. But the meat the meat quality was really good. But again, not the high quality you're used to. Um, yeah, the and the price kind of reflects that because if you go mm -hmm. to like a Fogo or a Texas Day of Brazil in the states, you're paying fifty dollars a person. Right. Whereas this is twenty five. Right. So um, you know that that kind of makes mm -hmm. some sense to us. Yes. Um, but I wouldn't use all of my free dining packages there because you're getting right. a lot more for your money. Right. At, at the Cagney's. Others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, next up is going to be the teppanyaki, mm -hmm. which also has a, a charge of $30. Mm -hmm. And I think the same thing applies to that. It's similar to going to like a county house in the States, mm -hmm. uh, something like that. And the quality is not going to be that much better, that much greater. No. And the price is about the same. So if you really want to do that, 
uh, that's a good place to go. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can yeah. get other Asian food on the ship. Yeah. And and not really worry about that. Yeah, it would really only be good, like, if you have a big group of people and you're all going together, but you're really sitting at a table with a bunch of people you don't really know, so it's not really quite as fun as, like, if you did it at home with a bunch of friends or family members. Right. Uh, and then the last one is La Cucina, which is the Italian one. They have okay. Italian specialties, and uh, we found it to be not as good as the other ones, both mm. in terms of food and in terms of the ambiance. Mm-hmm. Um, it just kind of feels not like an afterthought, but not as not mm-hmm. as high level of uh, of everything right. across the board. Yeah, I so, agree. We would not choose that one again. Um, if you really love Italian food, you might, <laughs> and, you, and you really want it, and you couldn't find any anywhere, um, you might go for that. But you're not really getting the same for your money as you are mm-hmm. at Cagney's or La Bistro. Um, so those are definitely the ones to hit. And you're going to want to get your reservations in for those quickly when you book your cruise. Yes. Go on your uh, NCL account and make your reservations Definitely. now mm-hmm. because times will fill up. But they don't release all of them now. They'll release a lot more once you get on board. So if you don't get the slot you want, pick a slot. First day you're on the ship, go to the uh, desk where you can guest mm-hmm. services and you can uh, change your time yes. and they'll have new spots opened mm-hmm. up. They will. But if you wait until the day of or the day before, you're not going to get in the probably Cagney's or the beach show because mm-hmm. they are the two most popular. Yeah, you can rare. Mm-hmm. I don't know that you can just walk in. No, and depending on how busy your cruise is, but mm-hmm. um, they are the most popular, so be aware of that. Uh, we hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next video.